Hey there! My name is Siler, and welcome to How to Play Cards Against Humanity. It's by me, Tyler. So, I hope you're having a great day, because it's currently the second last day before the semester ends, and I get to, you know, go home for the summer. And there's a really fun board game I want to play if you have, like, people over, or online such as having the phone app let me just pull it up right now it's called let me just pull it up right here cards the evil apples cards against humanities app so for the next part here are some quotes done by me and some stuff i made up for this thing quotes about the game cards against humanity the greatest card game ever, which is me. No, David, that game is not appropriate for school. David's teacher from the David books. I recently bought the 1999 25th anniversary edition of, well, the second installment of the David, no David book series, David Goes to School, which is the sequel to the 1997 beloved childhood classic, no David by David Shannon. It's the special 25th anniversary edition, which is to honor its 25th anniversary. And speaking of something that's turning 25, here is a Stewie quote. Oh, oh, how ruthlessly absurd. Everyone's favorite eternal three-year-old Stewie Griffin about this game and how Crazy you can get a messed up game for messed up people. So this is going to teach you how to play the game and all the rules. The object of Cards Against Humanity is to get up to five points. You gain points by getting black cards, which are the prompts. There are two card types to set up the game. It's actually very easy. This isn't like Game of Life or more complex stuff keep it it's keeping it simple so white cards are responses such as poor self-image job interviews doing helium whippets at a children's birthday party dragon's lair writing christmas albums and dave rocky black cards are prompts such as what does god do when in heaven Poor self-image. I lost my library card for blank at the library. I have a knack for job interviews. For like a response for I lost my library card for reading doing helium whippets at a birthday party. I have a Nat, I saw the Nat Geo documentary about Dragon's Lair. Meeting Dave Bro Blank is more exciting than doing blank. Meeting Dave Brocky is more exciting than doing job interviews. Well, gang, we really need a change of scenery. So how about a trip to Dragon's Lair for like a response? Cards Against Humanity is like Family Guy cutaway gags. You have like your prompts, your responses, and Whenever they do like one of those things, they have like a little cart short that it's really silly and funny. And believe it or not, my dad was actually completely fine with me watching Family Guy, which was the first ever TV MA show I ever watched, but somehow he was completely against me watching South Park. Kind of a hypocrite, but go figure. He was also fine with me watching Simpsons and Futurama, but I digress. Starting the game. At the beginning of each game, draw 10 white cards for each player. You need at least three players to play the game. The judge, called the card czar, but you can also call him the judge too, plays a black card and read what it says. Watching tennis is more painful than a blank. Every player plays a white card. 
the judge reads out all the white cards and the favorite gets a point. You get a black card for, which represents each point. If you get up to five, you win the game. It's actually a really fun party game. Great if you have people over or if you want to play it online with the, on the phone app. Speaking of party games, you don't know Jack recently got nominated to be in the World Video Game Hall of Fame. The induction is on May 8th, which is a few days after Cinco de Mayo, which, believe it or not, was is one of my fictional characters' birthday. It was Cinco de Mayo of 1990. And that's basically it. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you like this little how to play tutorial, which is, believe it or not, the final project for my public speaking class. I really had a lot of fun, and this is Tyler, signing off.